Today we're going to demonstrate the nasal rinse. If your doctor is talking to you about the benefits of a nasal rinse, either for you or for your child, there's a four ounce for your children and eight ounce nasal rinse for the adults. This is what it's going to look like. First, you go into the bathroom and set your materials up. Unscrew your cap here, and we're not going to actually demonstrate how to do it, but you'll tear open the packet. This is for the eight ounce liquid for the nasal rinse, and this is for the four ounce for the pediatric. But you would tear it open, pour it in, get warm distilled water, fill it up to the eight ounce line, put your top back on it. Put your finger over the hole and gently mix it up till all the saline is dispersed throughout the liquid. After doing this, lean over the sink, bending at the waist, open your mouth, do not close off your nose, but you will actually put this up one of your nasal nares and gently squeeze, opening the mouth, and allow the liquid to be flowing out of the left nasal nares, if you're using the right one, out of the left nasal nares. Some may even come out of the mouth. This is okay, this is acceptable, but gently squeeze the bottom until about one quarter or one half of it is used up. Then put it down, gently blow your nose. You may have something to trickle down the back of your throat, so okay to expel this out by spitting into the laboratory. But then use the rest of it on the left nasal nair in this case. Gently squeeze after placing it up the nasal nair, gently squeeze, opening the mouth, allowing the liquid to go forth out of the right one and out of the mouth also. If you don't have distilled water, you can also boil your water for about 15 minutes, allowing it to cool until it's warm but not too hot because you don't want to burn the nasal membranes. And then you pour it in, mix it up as we already discussed, and you can repeat this twice a day, three times a day, whatever your doctor has prescribed for you. Some patients do it once a day or even more contingent upon what your doctor has prescribed. Keep in mind, this is salt water. It can't hurt you if you swallow it, but we suggest you not swallow it. If it trickles down the back of your throat, then it's okay to spit it out. After finishing with this, make sure you blow your nose. Do not pinch off your nose, because this actually can increase your blood pressure. But just gently blow your nose to get any of the residue out. Uh, if you have any questions about this or any other procedures that we use here, call us at the Allergy and Asthma Clinic in Georgia, 229-438-7100. Thank you.